Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch HaMabam. I want to share with you two ideas from the uh, Chida on Parshas Kedoshim. Number one, the Pasuk says, V'chiyagor etcha ger ba'artzacham lo'isaynu o'isay. If a ger lives with you in your land, do not afflict him. We're commanded on the Isra of Oynas Devarim. Rashi says, don't tell a ger, you know, yesterday you bow down to an elephant, and today you're coming to learn Torah. Yesterday you worshipped Buddha. You ate Neveos to Trefos. You ate Habba Hashekets, the Ha'achbar, the Ha'chazir. And today you're, uh, you're learning Torah from uh, Moshe Kibbal Tar Misinai. So the Chida brings from Rabbeinu Shloima Istrek in a manuscript that the way we understand Rashi at face value is not correct. We understand Rashi typically at face value that don't afflict don't afflict him. Don't afflict him. But this type of comment, if you're going to tell a ger, derech bizayin, oh, remember yesterday you worshipped idols? This is not hayna. You're being mavazahim. You're chepping him. So that, this can't be what we're talking about. Hayna implies some kind of trickery. So there's no trickery here. This is downright insulting. So the Chida brings from Abinu Shlomo Istrik, there's a much more sophisticated pshat over here. The pshat is you go to the Ger, oh, isn't it so beautiful? It's so nice. Yesterday you worshipped uh, the Buddha and you ate cheeseburgers and today you're learning Moshe Kibbal Tar Misinai. The Ger thinks you're trying to honor him. But you're, you have like, you know, there's a subconscious undermining type of putting him in his place, meaning you, 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 Amma Aretz Gomor, well, you think you're going to actually understand this? Of course, I'm saying in a very, very nice way, oh, it's so beautiful, but what you really mean to say is like, you know, don't expect to get anywhere. That's the pshat of, loisoinu oisoi. Doesn't mean don't outright insult him. Of course he can't do that. And that's not oina. The deeper meaning is, don't make it as if you're trying to compliment but really, it's an underhanded insult. Now, um, you know, this is very common. This is very common. I mean, uh, you know, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a little insight. I mean, look, I get it all the time. So, yeah, your shirim are very good. You know, my wife listens to them all the time. She tells me about them. Or somebody will say, you know, I really like your shirim. Whenever I go on the treadmill, I listen to them. Oh, what a beautiful cow. Right? So... It, so, you know, they're trying to convince themselves that it's, uh, it's a nice thing, but under, it's an underhanded, so that type of thing is not, it's, the, it's oina, it's trickery, meaning you've even tricked yourself. You know, there's a famous statement uh, George Bernard Shaw would say when it comes to self-deception, every man is a genius. You know, the person even tricks himself into thinking he's saying something. So don't do that to a guy. Okay, that's number one. That's how the Chidah learns from Rabbeinu Shloima Istrek. Recording stop. Okay.